I have signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, in today's reading, we are going to take a look and see what the next 24 to 48, even 72 hours hold for you. Okay, so what can you expect over the next few days? It is going to be a general reading. If you are after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed for you guys below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look and see what you guys can expect um, from the next couple of days. Wow, you've got a lot of swords here. You've got eight, nine, and ten. Three consecutive numbers um, from the same suit. I'm impressed. Wow, and the bottom row is all major arcana cards. I mean, there's no denying the energies here. Um, the reading itself is being weighed down by a lot of mental energy, a lot of nervous energy, a lot of unsettled kind of energy. There's a lot of things that are going on with you, especially mentally, okay? Um, there's this stuckness. I feel like for a lot of you, you've sort of been... Um, you know, you're being weighed down by your thoughts, you're being weighed down by an energy of guilt, by an energy of hurt, by an energy of pain. See, swords are a weapon, okay? Um, um, but they're also sort of, it's like swords are double-edged, right? And this weapon can be used to protect or it can, you, it can be used to destroy, okay? So it's up to you how you want to use it's up to you how you want to spin your current narrative is what I'm trying to say. It's up to you how, you know, the inner dialogue you want to have with yourself. Um, it's up to you what you want to tell yourself or what you want to believe, right? Um, the beliefs that you want to hold on to, whether they're self-limiting or whether they'll be empowering. So the thing is, you know, there is a situation that you're going through and I see that there is this weightiness to this situation okay this is something that's obviously threatening your peace of mind this is something that feels like it's definitely you know throwing a bit of chaos into your world it's something that you feel very powerless over and this kind of energy is going to extend into the next 24 to 48 to 72 hours which i know doesn't feel pleasant but i think that what i'm seeing especially with the repetition of the swords i feel like a lot of this um, is self-inflicted okay hear me out okay the repetition of the swords especially with the eight of swords um, and you've got the hangman's energy here um, which tells me that you're stuck in this cycle which is playing out on repeat and it's you know your thoughts are going around and around in a circle and they're, they're going um it's like they're looping around there's something here that you keep playing over and over again okay a conversation that went down um something that was said a situation that happened and unfolded you know that was not necessarily pleasant um and maybe it's it were your actions okay or maybe it was someone else's actions that impacted you negatively maybe it's your actions that impacted someone else or a situation negatively but whatever it is this is keeping you prisoner it's keeping you stuck um the eight of swords can be an indication that you or someone very close to you is playing the victim mentality okay and they're going you know why them why them why now why this well why not okay i feel like whatever you you got going on right now is a chance to improve yourself and improve the situation okay but it starts like it starts internally not externally and some of you i feel like you want for things to change externally and i get that but it makes very little sense because you need to change internally and in turn your external world and external factors are going to change okay um there's something here you need align aligning with and it's your thoughts okay um eight of swords is this stuckness there's a situation which you feel like you have no power of you feel like you're powerless but you do and eight of swords tells me that there is something here you feel like you don't have a choice but the card's telling you, you do have a choice. But just remember, okay, I feel like you're stuck on something and you're the one not making a choice. And the ironic thing is, you not making a choice 
is also making a choice. So I feel like you're choosing to stay there. You're choosing to stay in the past or you're choosing to stay in a situation that is not healthy for you, that is destructive, that is, um, you know, toxic, that's just not serving um, a purpose or it's, you know, it's not positive in any way, shape or form. And I don't know why you'd want to stay there. Maybe because it's, you know, you've, you're finding a sense of comfort in a zone that does feel very uncomfortable, okay? You find a sense of comfort in discomfort maybe it's that maybe it's a sense of familiarity some people you know they can be you know they normalize pain and they can be addicted to um you know they can be addicted to pain and hurt because that to them is a sense of normalcy and that's something that they've ever known okay um but a lot of what is going on i feel like you're choosing to stay in that something has obviously you know hurt you or something has obviously ended eight nine or ten or you're going through a situation or you're about to enter such a situation, okay? But I think there's something here that you keep playing, okay? Nine of Swords energy. Um, and there's this something here is weighing you down. It's an energy of guilt. It's an energy of regret. And it's like, you know, you wish you had known better. But if you had known better, you would have done better, right? So don't be so hard on yourself, okay? The Hierophant um, is popping up here because there's a sense of forgiveness. Maybe you feel like someone owes you an apology. And because you have the Swords energy, there very well could be an, a, a communication that comes in that does seem to indicate this energy of someone seeking your forgiveness or someone, you know, owing you an explanation for their um, behavior, um, or someone here that comes in with an overdue, I feel like it's an overdue apology, it could be you, okay, you could be the one that's sending out this apology, you could be the one that's sending out this com communication, or it could be coming into you. Um, I'm also seeing like a sense of forgiveness, okay, and especially Justice card and the Hierophant, and you've got the um, Hangman too, I just feel like you've got a lot going on right now, especially mentally, and I feel like, um, you know, don't be so hard on yourself, but I do feel like the cards... Um, especially the next two to three days, there's such a strong need for you to forgive, okay, whether it's forgiving yourself or whether it's forgiving someone else. Um, I think what a lot of people don't realize is, you know, forgiving someone doesn't necessarily mean that you're saying to them that, hey, it's okay that you hurt me or it's okay that you did what you did. It doesn't mean that, okay, and it doesn't have to mean that. It means that there is acceptance. And an acceptance is a really fitting word here because something here has happened and it has hurt you. Um, and look, it may even have had the power to destroy something for you, a relationship, a romantic connection, um, you know, a friendship, the Ten of Swords, you know, it's someone here like has backstabbed you or someone here has betrayed you or you feel a sense of betrayal. Um, there may have been malicious motivation. There may have not been any of it. But at the end of the day, what does it matter? Because you, you're hurt, right? Um but it's, yeah, it's you forgiving yourself or it's you forgiving this person that you're connected to. Because whoever this is, like if it's someone that has, you know, cheated on you or been disloyal to you, if it's your romantic energy or if it's your best friend that, you know, just completely backstabbed you um, out of the blue. Because you're holding on to this resentment, you're holding on to this anger, that's the very thread that's going to keep you connected to that person and to that situation. And you want to grab one of these swords and you want to, you know cut down that thread you want to um sever that thread because you don't want to keep connected to this energy of hurt and resentment and, and anger because it's like a toxic it's like a poison that you're holding on to okay so absolutely forgiveness the need to um forgive someone the need to forgive yourself the need to accept someone's forgiveness accept someone's apology okay the hangman also tells us because of all of this um thinking energy that's happening here with the you know um, the eight, the nine, and the ten of swords, the hangman is asking you, it's actually inviting you to take a look at a situation from a different perspective. Maybe you're only seeing things from your point of view, okay? And I get it. Someone or something hurt you, and a situation didn't necessarily go the way that you wanted, um, and it's hurting you. And you're so wrapped up in the hurt and the pain that you don't see how it's affected the other person, or you might not be able to see why this person did what they did, okay? Or why they said what they said, because underneath all those several layers of anger there is hurt okay so there's a need for you to understand something and i think it will make you know acceptance that little bit more easier especially with the hangman's um, perspective um you know a shift in perspective it'll make 
maybe you seeking forgiveness easier it will make you accepting a situation or you letting go of something okay finally removing yourself from this hurt or this pain or this situation which has keep um, has kept you stuck for quite some time so the next 24 to 48 hours to 72 yeah the next let's say two to three days okay um they're not necessary i feel like there's a lot going on with you a lot of sleepless nights a lot of restless nights a lot of you know fighting with your head and your heart here a lot of thinking and overthinking analyzing and over analyzing and just it's like you're playing something out in your head a conversation that happened or a situation that went down and you can't and it's like this hamster wheel my question is when are you gonna get off the hamster wheel because it's like you're going around and around in circles and you know whether you realize it or not it's damaging to your self-esteem the other thing is with the eight of swords the lady here she's got a blindfold on okay so i think there's something here that you're not necessarily seeing now i don't know if you're choosing not to see it voluntarily or i don't know if you don't have all the information or the um, communication available to you but there is something you're not seeing and i like that the hangman here has sort of shown up because there is a need for you to look at someone else's perspective okay um or look at things differently because when you look at things differently the very things that you look at are going to change and they're going to start looking differently so i know not the most positive reading for you but i feel like acceptance is going to be very liberating and if you want to you know free yourself from these shackles of pain or hurt or even the past or this betrayal that has this really firm grip on you it's so important to accept or to let go or to even forgive yourself okay um everyone makes mistakes okay um, and that's how we learn and you know if it was a mistake here i feel like i can see that it came with some very powerful and ch challenging lessons um i also feel like there's something here that i feel like has been hit pause this is interesting but i feel like some communication that has been delayed will come in okay will come in over the next 24 to 48 hours this could be you could be you're the one initiating this communication or it could be directed at you but i do think concerning this the content of this communication i feel like it involves an apology or an explanation of some sort or someone setting the record straight someone wanting to clear the slate someone wanting to explain themselves um see swords are a weapon of truth and clarity and i think that you know this communication or this apology although long overdue it's absolutely important okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support if you haven't already by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell bye for now